Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Pokemon Sword and the Crown Tundra. Hey, talk to me about a horse. Have you seen what's happened to the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Its head has become massive. I know you said that's the way the king's supposed to look. Now that you mention it, it does resemble the design on our town's souvenir shirts. But you speak as if you've seen the king with your own two eyes. This hatch has been broken since I was a child. Oh, of course, you want to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvests. Well, I don't know why you'd be interested in such things, but come then, follow me. An old book I read long ago said that the King's loyal steed was particularly fond of a certain special vegetable. Oh, that's why I needed the carrot seeds? Well, my memory isn't what it used to be. I can't recall what exactly the steed so desired. I think it best you search on the bookshelf over there if you find want to find out more any, anymore. Hey, a carbink! It was probably out of frame because of my camera. Hello, carbink! Yes, carat indeed, my friend. All kinds of books about the crown tundra. Uh, oh my god. Uh, we'll go through all of them, but I won't read them all. You can pause and read if you want to. Actually, I'll read them all. The king was a great Pokemon that brought abundance to our cold land. With the sweep of its right hand, the land would be blanketed in verdant grasses and blooms. With its left, the fruit of the fields would ripen and grow heavy. Its great crown of green gleaming, the king galloped across the land and stride its proud steed. And in their footsteps, buds would burst forth, burst from the soil, and rich life was born across the region. And so we worshipped the Pokemon and paid it all due tribute as king. Yeah, this one. The horse Pokemon gave over its power to serve the king and carried hither and thither. The two even became one for a time, combining the strength to create a forest in a single night. This proud seed had been a wild thing once, ravaging the village crops and causing much woe. But the king in all its greatness brought this fierce creature to heal and secured its loyalty. And for each among us who claims the steed's hide was black as the midnight gloom, in which ghosts appear, there is another who claims it was white as a block of solid ice. None alive now can s none alive can now say which is the truth. Yeah, so that's the thing. There are two horses, and I guess you have to pick one. The reins of unity. Through these reins, did the king send its power in order to tame and control its proud steed. The reins, in fact, were made by the hands of the people, in thanks for the plenty brought by the king. These reins bound not only the horse and the king to one another; they bound the people to the king as well. At the dawning of each new year, we must never forget to, to gift the king with his offering. Let the radiant flower and the mane of the steed be woven together to bind us all in faith. The secrets of the sacred are be passed from parent to child to grandchild and never be forgotten. Well, it was forgotten, guys. Hardy crops. While carrots can be grown in the crown tundra, they have rather unusual growth habits. When beneath the heaped snow, these hardy roots tend to develop into ice root carrots. When grown in tracts close to where many souls are laid to rest, shade root carrots. Oh, that's okay. Shade root carrots are a favorite sheet for ghost types. Well, ice types seem to delight in ice root. Got it, okay. According to old fairy tales, the steed that the king of Bountiful Harvest rode upon loved both these varieties, or perhaps one or the other. Records seem to contradict one another, with some stories speaking of a white steed delighting in ice root carrots, and others mentioning a black steed devouring shade root carrots. Try the freezing tent snow samba. Isn't it tough to deal isn't it tough dealing with the cold here on the tundra with Temperatures seem to drop lower and lower every passing year. While well, some you stay indoors where it's cozy, don't forget to move that body too. Try the freezing tin snow samba today and get your body moving to stay warm all winter. Lift both hands in the air, wave here, wave there, bow low, touch your toe, and freeze. Then up we pop to start it all once more. From a circle with friends, form a circle with friends, and don't be shy. The snow samba will keep you young at heart. Okay, that's probably a ritual for something. Freezing thin souvenir brainstorming sessions. Minutes taken by the town's tourism lead. We got a lot of submissions on our last round, so our thanks to all who contributed ideas. We've settled on an idea for a new freezing thin souvenir, sure to lure in more visitors, a sure featuring our own King of Bountiful Harvests. By you reusing the artwork from some old documents, we should be able to keep design costs low too. Okay, I'm done reading. I need to find carrots.
Okay. Do I really need to get more of that ore? Uh, I mean, it doesn't take that long, but it is a bit of an annoying grind. Is Peony, you gonna show up for this? Oh, there, Chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Huh? Lurg. <laughs> Peony, you're... T Human child, were you able to find something out about my loyal seed? Yes. You say you found out about something that my loyal seed could not resist. It's been so long since we rode together that I'd completely forgotten. With this information, we may be able to lure my loyal steed to me yet. So tell me, what is it my loyal steed would find so irresistible? The carrots. Oh, carrots, you say? Yes, yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, it would leap at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I'm in your debt, human child. What we must do now is clear. If we are able to find carrots somewhere, it should be but a trifle to lure my loyal seed back to me. I wonder, the humans of the village grow any carrots? If we could obtain even a single seed, I could grow carrot from it myself. Well, I know where to get the seeds, but the guy wants more ore than I have, and that's... So I know where to grow the... Shadow carrots. I want to... What about the ice ones? You're killing me, guy. You're just... You're just killing me. Ugh. Alright, I'll go do it again. It just takes so long. I mean, it doesn't take that long, but it takes a while, man. Oh, you're here now. Alright, I'm carrying on like usual, I suppose. Hey, have you heard the rumors about this great big tree, the Dino Tree? Something nice happens if you give it a good shake. I don't think I've got arms for it, but I bet you can... Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I could... No, anything is fine. Alright, do we have anything good? No. Oh, ooh, actually. Uh, give me Salazzo. Or do I want Tentacruel? They're both pretty decent. Give me Salazzo. One of you better take Tentacruel. Not one of you to beware. Okay, Stoutland. Actually, we got a pretty good lineup this time. What are we dealing with? Ground Steel, Ice Water, Dragon. Fairy. Okay, so dragon is out of the question. We should probably grab steel. What is that? I can't tell what I'm looking at there. Oh, I'm gonna go for Kling Clang. Are you kidding me? Give me Kling Clang, please. Right. Booming sound. Forgot about that. I wonder does the caliber of Pokemon you fight translate to uh, how much ore you get when you finish. So part of this, I guess, isn't just what you fight. Oh my god. I forgot Salazzle hits like an absolute truck. Okay. There go our defenses. Oh, everyone's except for tentacles. Never mind. Hey. It's fine, I'm gonna switch to you anyways. Actually, wait, do you even have a steel move? If you don't have a steel move, I'm not gonna bother with you. You'll probably be dead by after this turn. Why are you faster than me, Tentacruel? Why is everyone faster than me? What happened? Okay, a gear grind is good. Why am I not going? Did I get paralyzed and not even realize it? Huh. I'm 
We're gonna fight a fairy legendary. What? What legendaries are fairy type? Honestly. Oh, wait, Xerneas! Oh, wait, what am I doing? Why would I even take. I have a fantastic poison type! One of you take this. Good boy. What was I even thinking there? Oh, Whimsicott. Whimsicott, you poor thing! Man, Salazzle's a great pull for this run. Alright, what other fairy- Oh wait, could be one of the- Uh, it could be one of the Tapus. That's not Whimsicott, that's Tangela. What was I- What was I talking about? Alright, let's go with... Which does more? I could try to go for a critical, or I could try to go for a burn. Let's go for a burn! My god! Tangela, I'm so sorry. This There goes your special defense. And you got burned anyways. My god. I'm so... Well, no, I'm not as sorry. Stop hitting me. Yeah, there's... Xerneas is a fairy and Tapu Lele is a fairy. Alright, I'm not gonna catch him because I don't want anyone to use him by accident. Or her? I didn't even see what it was. Never mind, I have no say in the matter. What do we got? Fire and rock? Uh, neither one's that great. We'll deal with fire because that's Marowak. Hey, berries. What do the berries do? I still wish they would let you use your own Pokemon. Oh, never mind. This is not as good as I thought it was going to be. What does this do? Oh. Alright, we're going to Toxic. This, this Salazzle has a pretty decent moveset. Sorry. Sorry. That's my bad. Never. Oh, ow. I'm just gonna Venom Drench and hope that everyone else does enough stuff. Oh! Well, I appreciate the effort, but that's not gonna help us much. Hey, can you, Tentacle, can you do that thing you just did again? I guess next turn I'll just attack because I'm not going to get much accomplished if I just keep doing that. Oh, ho, tentacle! Actually, maybe I should stall if I can. That's fine. Do a cross poison. Never mind. I don't know what I thought I was going to do, but that's. I think strong. Alright. Tangela, if you... If the Tangela person could swap out for this Marowak, that would be fantastic. I feel like that won't happen, though. So then we'd be going into things with steel and poison types. And God help us if the, uh... If it's Tapu Lele, because it will use a psychic move. Actually, wait, all the Tapus are fairy. What was I saying? It could literally be any of them. What do you got? Flare Blitz, Shadow Bone. You got Rockhead, so you can really rock Flare Blitz. Ooh. One of you better take this. Okay, that's fine. What did we pass on the left? It was huge. Alright, is it a Tapu? Is it a Xerneas? What is it?
It's a Xerneas. That one's especially loud. My god, man. No, bring it by down. Bum. What does Fairy Aura do? Doesn't it boost the power of Fairy moves? Okay. Um, should I bother toxicing it? Nah, we'll just do Cross Poison. Don't tell me that was a critical hit. Okay, good. Good, good. Keep it up. Keep using... Oh, it knows Ingrain. Cool. You fools! You're you're competing against each other for moves. What does Max Ooze do? Ooh, yes, please. Although two of mine, actually all three of them besides me are physical attackers. Titan Pearl has Hydro Pump, I guess. I'm as big as you! Well, no, I'm still not as big as you, but I'm big! God, you have a lot of special defense. This is slow. This is slow moving. Oh my god, that was not very effective, and that almost killed it. Hey, if we lose, do we, uh... Oh, there you go. Keep doing that. If we lose the fight against this thing, do we still get some of that fancy ore? Because that might, that might happen. For a second, I freaked out and thought Xerneas used Water Pulse, and I was like, oh, well, I'm dead. Oh, there goes Tentacruel. That was a critical hit. Not good. Oh my god, we might we might lose this. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Very not good. I'm about to run out of Dynamax power after this anyways. Hey, you know how you're paralyzed, Xerneas? Maybe you could get paralyzed just once? Oh, well, now you're definitely not paralyzed. Ow. It's fine. It's fine. I'm super resistant. Alright, Tentacruel, you can come back out now, right? That's who had the Tentacruel? These are all children! I didn't even look! The people I'm playing with are all children! That's terrible. Give me a cross poison. We're slowly inching our way. Okay, you do that. Thank God the Xerneas just keeps using that. And there goes Ten Tangela. Hey, no one else faint. <laughs> Please. We need to make it one more turn. Oh, come on. Hit it with something hard. Please. Okay. I don't know, man. What does a Xerneas look good in? A Great Ball? Or a Dive Ball? Oh, wait. You know what? I want to throw a Dive Ball. And I want to see... This is, I want to test the theory of... will the, Do these things have an, a guaranteed catch rate? Because if a Dive Ball can catch a Xerneas... I would... Wager. Okay. They seem to have a guaranteed catch rate. Uh. Wait. Oh, I can't keep the Salazzle. Give me the Marowak. Especially because I know I can... Yes, okay. Because I know I can come back and... Specifically hunt for the uh, Xerneas now. Oh, never mind. I just goofed it. Oops. That's fine. 
I'll deal with it another time. Alright, let's go talk to a man about some carrot seeds. They couldn't have just given me two of those ores as a story gift. Oh, wonderful. This is plenty. Now we can bury the ore in our fields and make our crop... What? Here are seeds as promised. Seeds to plant in a field. The kind of carrot you'll get is determined by which field you plant the seeds in. Don't go planting the seeds. I gave you really only in the village's fields now. These fields are for our own crops. Okay. Oh, okay. Show the seeds to Calyrex. Oh my god, Peony's been here the whole time. We found the carrots, human child. Oh! By the stars, you said that you have carrot seeds. That strange bag contains the seeds for carrots? You humans never stop adapting and evolving. I'm constantly amazed by your ingenuity. And yet, hmm, the fields of the village simply won't do. They're not suited for growing carrots. If we could find rich soil, I could use my powers to grow the crops we need. Now, where might we find soil suited for growing these crops in this tundra of mine? Mm-hmm. I see two spots that might suit our needs. One is a field covered in pristine snow. I think we saw this field, didn't we? We did see that one. Another spot is a field by gravestones where those who moved on were laid to rest. Either of those locations should allow me to use my powers to grow the carrots we need. Please, I ask that you choose a field and plant those seeds. Okay, bye. Yeah. What in the... I seem to be getting in the habit of falling asleep outside. I guess it just goes to show that holding down the fort is not all that easy. You take care of yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it. I swear to God, if we go to this... No. Oh. Okay. If we go to either of these fields, and Calibrex shows up, and then Peony shows... Hello? Something's happening. Nan? Nanny? Sing that song about the King's Steed's po King's Steed Pokemon. Of course, my dear, I'd love to. Ice root carrots, cold as ice, munched all up by the bully in white. Shade root carrots, dark as doom, crunched by the bully with a ghostly gloom. Now you make sure you eat your veggies too, just like the Pokemon in the song. Yes, Nan. Okay, if they haven't driven it home yet, it seems that I'm going to be picking the horse. I think I want to go for the ice one, because we've seen where the graveyard is already. And I like ghost types. Just in case... Oh, wow, it's way up there. Okay. I want to get the ghost type with my other character, because that's my more main grindy character. Maybe I'll go for a good nature or something. Who knows? Huh, if we're gonna are we gonna hmm, if we're gonna battle this thing, I kinda want someone who can use sleep moves. Cause I would like to can What? Did I not grab all the stuff here? I thought I did. Oh no, I hadn't actually gone in here yet. Wait, yes I had. Where am I going? What a buffoon I've been. I just didn't wow, I didn't go this path at all. Okay. Or did these these things didn't respawn? It hasn't. It's not the next day. What is this? What's going on here? I've definitely been here. How did I miss all this? Yeah, there's the air. One of the aerodactyls. There is so much mint around here. There's the mylotic. Here's a little pond. I guess I shouldn't treat Pokemon as landmarks. Hmm. Isn't this where the icy area was? Yeah, here we go. 
I'm your want trader. Along with my regular inventory, I highlight new and hard to come by items for sale every day. You ought to check what I've got. Anyways. Uh, okay. You've got the regular... You've got a good assortment, actually. What's the highlight? Oh, wow. No, thank you. Crogonal. Glalie. Bear dick. Matang, my boy, Matang. Oh, is this the field? Was not expecting the bear tick. Okay, bye. Oh, wait, I wasn't going to do this yet. No. Okay, a revive. Cool, cool. What does it say? Uh, yes. The king brought abundance and life to this land that was once frozen tundra. We owe these very crown plains to our king. As long as the bond between us people and our king holds strong, these lands will no doubt thrive for all time in fertile green. Cool. Oh, nice. Hey, wow. Okay, there are much better technical records in this DLC than there were in the Isle of Armor. I want to see what's in the den here. Oh, Golurk. Okay, that's nothing new. Alright. Uh, anything here real quick? What is the big fancy tree, come to think of it? Right, let's save. I guess let's save right on it, just in case this is a repeatable... Alright. Yes. Oh my god. I see you've reached one of the fields. And if you plant the seeds in this field, ice root carrots will grow. It's been so long that my memory's hazy, but I believe that my loyal steed would often partake of this sort of vegetable. If ice, root veg if ice root carrots were what my steed preferred, it must have been ice type, isn't it? It's most vexing that I can't recall. I suppose we will see. I'll ask about once more. Are you sure this is the field you want to plant the seeds? Yes. Very well. Then I ask that you plant the seeds. You planted the carrot seeds. Pat pat. Aha, kahaha. Very good, very good. You have an able hand for working with soil. Now then, it's time I did my part. Let me show you my powers. Oh! Rumble, rumble, rumble. That's a big carrot! You planted so many seeds that my powers could only get one to grow. To think that I've fallen so low, it truly breaks my heart. But soon will be time to bid my sorrow farewell. Now, human child, I ask that you pull that ice root carrot free with all your might. Okay, let me uh, save once. That's not how you save, silly. One and two and pull. It's a carrot. You put the ice root carrot in your bag's key items pocket. Produce that the king of Bountiful Harvest's beloved steed likes to eat. It grew in a field covered in snow. Well done, human child. That carrot will be the key to luring my loyal steed back to me. Now all I need are the reins of unity. It will amplify my power, letting me ride my loyal steed with ease. But I doubt I shall ever get another set from the humans in the village. Oh, at the horse. Bryce. What? Last year, my loyal steed, is it truly you? That glistening white pelt, that rough, violent gallop. Gallop. It has not changed from the day we first met. Oh, how this brings back memories. Brim, 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 horse noises. 
It is my belief that while my seed picked up on the scent of the carrot, it could not determine whether the scent was coming from. Judging from the direction it ran off in, it must be headed to the village in an attempt to pillage carrots there. That is true, then Freezington is in danger. Human child, we must make haste. Are you gonna are we gonna teleport or are you making haste and I'm just standing here? I'm just standing here. Okay. Hey guys, don't leave me behind. Nope. Uh, let's save again. I feel like we're gonna fight this thing sooner or later. I feel like I don't need to read those. It said it. Wait. It's a cool looking horse. Oh, it's even cooler when you see it head on. Can I actually catch this thing or is it going to be just beat it so that you can progress the story? Is after your ice root carrot. It's level 75, huh? Isn't this thing like super bulky and s never mind. Oh, this will this will test a theory. Did I need to beat it or catch it? The music started nice and I don't like going brr brim. Nice. Oh, nice. Eek. Crook crown. This is freaky. That's an angry horse. A nasty fellow. You all right? Yes, I feel like something stepped in to save me. Oh, an item? A tuft of white... Oh, I need these. Main hair that belong to the king of Bountiful Harvest Beloved Steed, Glastrier. The hair is strong and very flexible. Oh, kind visitor, how could I possibly thank you enough for saving the people of this village? I had no idea such a vicious Pokemon still existed in the tundra. Why, it reminded me of that Pokemon in the fairy tales, loyal steed of the king. Ah, uh, but no doubt I am overthinking things. What is that you have there? Is that a tuft of white mane hair? In the fairy tales, it said that by weaving the hair of the loyal steed together with a radiant blossom grown by the king, it is possible to create the reins of unity, which link the king with its steed. In fact, it was my own ancestors who used to weave the Reigns of Unity following an ancient tradition passed down over many years. Of course, I myself have never seen any kind of radiant flower, and the method of making the Reigns has also been lost to time. In any case, we can't spend all day musing over fairy tales. I must make plans and preparations that Pokemon well could well decide to pay us another visit after all. Thank you very much for your help, kind traveler. Hey, did you catch all that? I don't understand why you have to make the hat float, though. You have my thanks for protecting the village, human child. Were I, at, were I at my full power, I could have tamed my steed and reigned its loyalty. Regained. But weakened as I am now, the most I could do was influence its will and make it depart. If only I had the reins of unity, they would have allowed me to tame my steed in short order. We need a flower. What's that? We can make a set of reins with mane hair for my loyal steed? And a flower that I can grow? A flower, a flower, yes, but of course. I'd assume the humans stopped making the reins of unity because they had lost their faith in me. What is because I lost the power to grow the material needed? I have spent far too long holding my misguided assumptions, it seems. 
It has been many centuries since I was able to grow a radiant flower. Doing so drains much of my power. But for whatever reason, a fraction of my power seems to have just returned to me just now. There's only one thing to be done. Let the radiant flower bloom. Oh, you just... No? I thought it was going to pop out of his head. Oh! Crownus Bloomus. Take this, human child. That's a radiant petal. I need a whole thing. A single petal that the King of Bountiful Harvest gave you. It radiates faint light. You okay, bud? It shames me to admit it, but a whole flower is beyond me right now. I do not know if that petal will be enough, but I still must ask that you try use it to try to recreate the Reigns of Unity. The descendants of the family who once made the reigns for me should still live in the village. I put my hopes on you, human child. Okay. Okay. I'll make you those in the next episode. So thanks for joining me. Get back out the next stuff up real soon. But until then... Bye.